Is the Sig Tango MSR good for uh, longevity? Huh. Let's find out. What broke? Huh. First throw, something broke. Who would have thought? Well, this wasn't going to be a video on anything but the optic. So, first thing that first thing that broke on my optic was a dust cover. So that's um, that's junk. And uh, and then guess what broke? My law folder. When I threw that, actually snapped the mechanism that holds your. Uh, folder in place. Isn't that wild? Snapped it right off. Woo! Don't know if I like these anymore. I've done a lot of things to this before and I've never had that be a problem so that is a major problem. And uh, immediately not a fan. So now I gotta go back inside my house, fix this because I gotta take it off and put it something else on um to be able to even shoot today so that's awesome wall folder junk so first round of abuse where i just chucked it literally like the first throw obviously when these plastic covers broke but my wall folder which i've had on this gun for two years probably now um broke and this is why you keep extra parts on you because i had to go down and beat that thing apart because i had already staked it and oh god i got shit all over me i was plus this gun's dirty as hell so as anybody knows i never clean it so it just had shit running out of it everywhere um and I had to beat that apart, put a new castle nut on, stake it, all that crap. So now I don't have a law folder anymore. And uh, the fact that that broke that way um, with a single throw, I mean, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of leverage on a, on the small little um, pin piece. I may have to try and get like a little photo of it or something like that because um, it's hard to explain if you've never put one on how the little latching mechanism that holds it together works. Um, that broke, it snapped clear off. Um, that is, boo, no, no. Um, so now here I am doing this video for this optic, which I had the video where I said, hey, my, you know, um, sight seemed to be going off or something like that. I, I, I couldn't tell whether it walked or something like that. Uh, which by the way, I had forgotten that I had sighted this in suppressed and then went and shot it unsuppressed as this thing was being fixed. So did that affect my uh, point of impact? Probably a little bit, but still, we still had some major issue with that. So um, we're gonna continue on now. Um, God, let's see what else I can break on this thing as I chuck it around and throw it. And, um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll uh, keep going to town on it and um, you know, see what we can do. <laughs> That took a direct blow into the tree there. Looking all right. 
no one wants to play with me. Still running like a champ. Dirt everywhere. Pyong pyong. Good. Well, still holding zero. Um, you know, uh, my missing is just my missing. So keep it rolling. Oh, oh, pardon me, coming through. Oh, oh no. Oh. Damn you. Why won't you just break? All right, so we've been throwing it around, busting it around, breaking whatever I can break on it. And last time I shot this gun, of course it was unsuppressed, had the video, blah, blah, blah. There's a small little six inch target back over there in about this range is where I was just missing it. Missing it left and right. Couldn't hit nothing on it. So we're gonna shoot at it now after I've been throwing and dragging and bashing this thing everywhere. And we're gonna, we're gonna hit that little bad boy Hopefully. Let me hide behind this tree here. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me do it? Oh, let me turn around. Let me turn around. Oh no, YouTube, what, what am I doing? Seems to be on. So maybe it was just a fluke. Maybe it was just point of impact shift with the suppressor being off. I don't know. Um, could have just been, you know, bad day. I don't know. Seems to be on right now. I've been pretty mean to it here this morning. I mean, not terribly mean. Pretty mean. Could have been meaner. Um, I'm happy that's holding the way it is. Uh, you know, the only thing I'd really like to do is, is get out somewhere where I can do like a zero to 300 and get a really good idea what all my holds are for this rifle because that's the only thing I'm pretty concerned with is that. I've theoretically zeroed it to where it's good for zero to 300, but you know, until you just put the rounds down range, you really don't, you really don't know how much you can trust it. So um, we'll keep on doing what we're doing and um, you know, just shoot a little bit, do a little bit of drills or something, maybe, I don't know. Run back and forth, just shoot some stuff and uh, keep on going. Man, I tell you what, that little uh, the little red dot, even though we're not talking about the little canted red dot, um, it took just the same abuse and boo, and it's never lost zero. I mean, I love that thing. I tell you what, for a backup sight, that's the ticket right there because that, 
even though I had my main optic, be questionable. Um, I don't know. I, I'm going to go ahead and assume the last video I made had some sort of user error or something in it because this is still shooting the way it should be shooting right now. And all I did was re-zero and just double check things. And, and like I said, the only thing I can think of is just something that I didn't know. But that little bad boy right there, I should have thought about that when that last time happened because that'd be cool to just see that thing still hold zero because it's still holding it. And um, as a backup sight, boom, good to go. That's what we want. Always want some sort of backup sight. And uh, uh, I love it. So let's keep on going. Just do some more shooting and uh, keep it on. You know what I still love is, is all the shotgun shells from my uh, Spies 12 shooting. Um, you know, it's quite funny. So, you know, all the, all the rounds still on this uh, range crack me up. So, um, just keep on shooting, I guess. <sighs> Suppressor's hot. Gun's pretty hot. I can feel it. I can feel it in the handguard. Tell you what, this would be a good check for that light. Because, man, that light is, woo, taking some heat. So, let's uh, shoot a little bit more. Ah, uh, the sound of metal raining down from the air. That was fast on target. I like it that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and uh, my little stress test on this uh, optic. Two thumbs up for me still. Um, great, great set of cheap optics. Uh, this is the one to six if I need to remind. Uh, one to eight is on my 14 and a half and the one to 10 is on my um, uh, 16 inch. So, uh working like a charm loving them um these plastic things are junk they're gonna go i've decided upon that seeing as how it broke when i first threw the first one so no need in keeping them and uh i hope you all have a good day and uh continue on stopping by